this scooter had issues with the whole sensors after replacement everything is working everything is perfect find how to change your sensors and save some money so so for proper to check what's happening with the sensors we have to get to the end of this wire which is inside here connected to the controller we have to open this cover let's do it the cover it's open we have this connection here so i can measure without without opening the wheel to see which sensor it's faulty most probably is the sensors because sometimes error 18 it's coming from these diodes here inside due some uh, moisture but here inside we don't have ever been inside moisture because the stickers they are white all of us of them on the side so there is no moisture inside most probably the sensors now this is the plug for the whole sensors red wire it's giving plus and the yellow one it's minus we're giving 5 volts inside the plug and our DC meter it's adjusted at 20 volt DC we, we will check now if we have electricity first on the plug we have 4.6 4.76 you see my negative it's connected to the negative and my positive it's measuring how much we are pumping inside the whole sensors line now if i touch any of these one two three at some point i should have here positive the first one we don't have the second one we don't have the third one we don't have Either way, I suspect three of the sensors, it's less likely they are burned. I suspect it's something wrong with the wire or inside the motor, the wire, the wire it's disconnected. So it's not giving any voltage inside the sensors. I'll, let's open the motors and we see what's happening. At some, just to understand, if we are putting voltage and the voltage is going inside the PCB board of the sensors, at any point whenever this wheel it is we should get at least one or maximum two sensors if we get three sensors that mean i mean three sensors voltage here if it is shown any of the three it will be that mean one of the sensors it's locked at on mode so we don't have any voltage in either of the three so i suspect there is no voltage going inside at the pc board and at the positive of the sensors for some reason all the three sensors are gone we have to change them all clean the silicone which is holding the pcb here and after that with small cutter cut as close as you can here at the pcb so we can reuse these shrinks on the other sensors and you have to clean also after here the solder and you open the holes so the new sensor pass through very easy the middle sensor it's very easy to take it out with something sharp you just get it from the below and pull it out this is the middle one the left and the right sensors they are a little bit difficult maybe you have to break them out and after that to clean very good the groove so the new sensor can slide in very easily this you have to clean the solder and open the holes so the new sensor legs get very easily inside this one will break any moment now after removing the sensors we clean the groves the new sensors we add the heat shrink and it's very easy now to put them now with the clean groves but i want to mention something as you see now the board it need to be clean here here and here so you can put the new sensors connectors and solder them as you see the the right one and the left they have the same marking 
this one doesn't have the same marking but this is only imprinted on the board the legs let's say the right leg here is plus and here the right leg it's plus not the left one as it is marked on the board so you have to measure it to be sure because the middle sensor the old one it's using a reversed polarity sensor but in this case we will use the same polarity sensors just the middle one we will solder it as the left and the right one and after that we will turn it 180 degrees so the letters of the middle one will be looking inside at the axle motor and the left and the right one will be the letters will be looking out towards you like this we have the three sensors working properly the middle one with reversed polarity and the left and right one with the normal polarity now we have all three sensors placed all the holes they are clean here but as you see the middle one the middle one is with twisted legs but they are not twisted the sensor down its twist as you see the left and right you can see the lettering in the middle one the lettering is looking inside so this this and this they are the same the right leg is plus the middle one it's minus and the left leg it's the signal sending to the controller so they are all the same just the middle one it's twist and like this we have reversed polarity going to the controller the sensors are in place soldered and some silicone for holding up the PCB and we're ready to assemble the motor.